Hi everyone. I hope you guys are doing well today. I want to show you my perfume collection. I will also make a top 5 ranking of my most favorite, most used, even if they are current little story i was more into perfume than bags shoes jewelry accessories when i was younger i would spend more on the new perfume than any other girly stuff i was obsessed with finding um, the best uh, perfume or the new ones that comes out the ones that are on trend, I follow that route. But now, because of that experience, I was able to was able to taper down my choices based on the YouTube channel that I watch. Well, <laughs> I do watch recommendations, reviews, and um, top five of um, various. Um, reviewers on youtube and there's this one girl that i trust because most of her recommendations that i tried are really good i will put her um, <clears throat> name on the description below okay to start with the non included in the top five let's start with cartier le panther in EDP this one is launched in March 2014 and it smells like musk and floral this is a nice bottle panther there and this one came with it I didn't throw it out because to use this you have to press this down so just to avoid accidents I just leave it there. Next is from Hermes, U de Merveille. It was launched in 2014. Smells of woody and citrus. This doesn't have a cap. So you just press it right there. Okay, the next one is this. Long time ago I bought this. I haven't finished it yet. But this one I like as well. This is from Ferragamo called Signorina Leather Edition. It's also a limited edition. This one was launched in 2014 and it's very floral. It's very sweet. This is this uh, embodies like uh, what I feel like a real woman, like a boss lady for me. This one. And then the next will be the Chanel number no. five Le U. This was launched in 2016. This is woody, fresh, okay, and floral. But like any Chanel number no. five this is too floral for me so i'm not buying this again and the next is dior miss dior blooming bouquet this is also powdery very subtle scent i like this one but it feels like after two hours you don't smell it in you anymore but some people say oh you still smell good some people i mean some people i know <laughs> okay this was launched in 2014. this could be uh you know something to wear in the beach or when you're in vacation you don't want to offend people around you but you know you want to still smell like a cologne and fresh <laughs> this one this one is a good one and the next would be this one from LV, Louis Vuitton. Don't make me 
pronounce this anymore because you know I'm I ha I reached my quota already in saying French terms. So this one is powdery and musky. This is also subtle, like Miss Dior. This is like I liken them both as subtle and fresh. Uh, something for vacation in a tropical country this one I recommend and this was launched just this year 2020 and for the last piece among this group is this big one yes it doesn't fit the monitor that I have here but this one is um, Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. This smells good. Aromatic, sweet, tonka bean, white floral, launched in 2016. Um, this is a go-to for me when you want to um, go out at night when you're on a vacation. Something like that. So there, it's very tall. And it's a very nice bottle as well. Okay, so this is for the set. So my next set will be my top five. Stay tuned. And also, if you are liking this video and you've been hovering through my page, please consider subscribing. I won't buy it. I'll, I'll try to make it to make the, the the page as fun as possible because I really like sharing stuff with you information um, you know whether you need another suggestion for for a gift or for what you want to buy next because that's what I do as well for me this is research like what others are are buying what others like maybe i should give it a try because seriously if you go to the store in the department store and you want to find something especially a perfume it's really it's very toxic to to smell everything there it's nice to have at least three items to smell or five and then you decide on that if you don't like it then you move on go again to a video and um, see which one you prefer okay so please subscribe and tap on the notification bell so you will know every time I post a new video so let's move on so for my top five most favorite perfume I will rank them from the least to the best so for number five i have this my son francis kurjan in baccarat rouge 540 extra de perfume so this was launched in 2017 and it's described as balsamic woody warm and spicy so I will list down also the main accords here so you will have you will have more information of this one but this one is newly acquired I just got this this year and this one is uh, more musky to me and more woody it's a stronger perfume than my other ones and so this is good for um, the whole day touring um, museums and everything because I, I feel like if I s spray on a fresh one it won't last so this one is my top five and for so top five has got two items in it so for the second item I have this um, good girl velvet fatal by Carolina Herrera this is a sexy bottle this is limited edition 
collector's item when it was launched in 2018. This got this is warm, spicy, balsamic, woody, sweet, and floral. Okay. Red and red. So for the fourth place, I have this one from Hermes. It's called Twili de Hermes, You Pauvre. This was launched in 2017. This is nice. I really love this. There's another one. It's called just uh, Twilly de Hermes. But this one I like because it's powder scent. This is my first bottle. That's so for my third place. Is this Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. This was launched in 2012, but I've never really came upon this bottle or this fragrance because apparently when I was looking for it, it wasn't even available in the counters in the department store. So I checked the, the Balenciaga store. They didn't have it. In Manila, there are, I think, two Balenciaga branches and in, in the area and then when I went to one they said you, you have to go to the other one in Rockwell because they carry this one and I said okay right there and then I went and I smelled it and I really liked it I got this as a recommendation as well by a youtuber but this one is really nice even here in Jakarta if you go to the Balenciaga branch they don't have it in the counters they don't have it so i hope you guys can find this and try it smell it it's really good this one i would use as a summer perfume because it's really sweet it's really fresh it's like you just came out of a shower and you're feeling clean so it's very nice in humid countries if you're touring also in uh, summer this is really nice you give it a try guys and for my second spot this is newly acquired i just got this like a week ago because um, it finally became available I've been hunting for this for since I think end of last year and it was always unavailable. So a new store in Plaza Indonesia opened and they carry this line. And what I'm talking about is this one. It's from Perfumes de Marley and it's called the Delina. Delina is the name of a racehorse. Perfumes de Marley names their line after racehorses since King Louis the Fifteenth. So there is a bit of history there. So Delina is launched in 2017 by Quentin Bisch. This is really fresh, creamy floral, fruity, musky, and woody. Very good mix. Nothing is overpowering each other. It's a really good blend. And I've tried it already. So it lasts long. But I'm, I'm really digging this one. And so, for my second place, I have two items also. And it's this one <laughs> I'm obsessed with this scent so I got the Delina exclusive 
it's also from perfumes de marley this one is um is it's it's really um the, it's different but the same you have to smell it to really appreciate it and to really um uh, get what i'm saying so i i advise you guys if you have this or if you want to to smell this if you haven't yet please give it a try in the stores and uh, it's really nice okay if i if i have to choose between these two i will choose the exclusive because it's it's stronger in a way so meaning i feel like it's gonna last longer that's usually my thing if it's stronger that's why i like the you the perfume than you the toilet because i think it will last longer on me but this one is like a kick-ass version of this one so that's why i would I would choose the exclusive okay so for for my top one this I will love forever I think for my top one drum roll please okay. it's this one it's from Tom Ford Soleil Blanc this was launched in 2018 and it's got coconut smell in it very creamy very powdery it's enticing um, this one is like um, it's, it's, it's like a date date scent for me like you know like if somebody if somebody passes by and you're wearing this it's like you, you will take a second look and you know where that where is that scent coming from and it's so sweet and it's a very very attractive scent i would say so if you have this let me know if you like it if you still like it if you don't like it and what do you think about it this one i saw that there's another one soleil blanc with a rounded cap i'm not sure i haven't smelled that one but it's also called this one i don't know if this is the newer version i i don't really i don't really follow all these um history but if I see it, if I see that, I will definitely give it a whiff. This one's I consider luxury because they're very expensive. This one was about, I'm gonna, I bought this in Jakarta, so I'm gonna give you the rupiah amount. This was two, three, three million, about three million. This one I forgot because this has been a long time already, and so is this one. This one I got here in Jakarta also, but I don't know the the prices anymore. This one I bought in Manila for about oh gosh, maybe twelve thousand. No, maybe. 11 i'm not really sure i'm not really sure but definitely this is expensive and this one since it's newly acquired i got this for 3.2 million rupiah each and that's even on a 10 percent discount so you guys check out the at the second level of uh, plaza indonesia if you're here and you know try uh, give it a try and this tom ford i also forgot i bought this in manila in adora i forgot the price but it's about twelve thousand pesos as well and this one you can't find this in in jakarta malls you can only find this in in the airport 
as you leave in the duty free section there i think it's about 3.5 million for the 50 ml and um but i think they're gonna have this the, the the where i got this from i think they're also the owner of the duty free store there in the airport so they might carry this line eventually okay so here you are my top five luxury perfume which one do you have which one do you want to try did i convince you if you're a man looking for a gift to your girl it's getting it's gonna be christmas season soon so might as well plan it now right so which one will you actually give a try but if your girl is a luxury lover like me I will suggest these three. If your girl is a bit young and likes to be in the outdoors, I will suggest this too. And if your girl is a boss lady, workaholic and a boss lady, this too, I will suggest you give. So I hope you enjoy this. I really had fun doing this. You know, I don't know how to present this to you guys because I, I'm not very proficient in English. I don't know how to describe stuff. Uh, my adjectives are very, very limited. So I I did the best I could to, to give you an idea on how it smells. But like I said, I will link down below the... I will not. I will just list down below the main accords of these perfume and the website where i got the information from so you can go check it out yourself so again if you haven't subscribed please give your girl a love and subscribe and let me know what you think stay safe guys here in jakarta it's september 14 we are on a lockdown again for two weeks so there's going to be work from home again and the malls are closed and the gyms are closed and so we're staying home and so we will have more time to chit chat sit down relax watch videos and stay safe bye